Hey everyone, this is Rita Lago Rage Rave, and I'm here with an reaction review of X Rated NYC season number two, episode number three, which is titled Meet and Greet Mayhem. And from the promo materials, we know that something's going to happen during the meet and greet, so I guess this is that particular episode. Now, in the previous episode, Joey didn't like basically being part of an intervention and he was like you know what Max you need to first uh, figure out whatever's that happening between you and Dante you need to resolve those issues before you all start coming to, to me and the episode ended where Dante and Max ready to talk so hopefully they talk it out but then again it's been a year and the relationship from what from my understanding it wasn't really like serious serious so i think they should be able they should be able to find a middle ground and move forward but let's watch some issues i know we both had some or at least i had some really shady behavior but we never had a discussion about what we were or what we wanted to be, what we wanted to do, or anything like that, and oh. you know, we had expectations. I was kind of forced oh. into a few situations with Sharon that I did not have necessarily a say how mm -hmm. they went, and it just kind of mm -hmm. happened right from me. They were Sharon, they were me, uh -huh, they were Sharon, uh -huh. Basically you know, two diamond, like Max. And forth, and it's like, you knew exactly what you were doing. You know what? No, man, you're, you're totally right. I was going back and forth. I was nervous to say anything to you because I really like you, Max. Call me chicken shit, but I was just nervous to, like, hurt you. And cause I knew <gasps> that it was there's a good chance that at my end, maybe I would just use this as an excuse oh, to, like, not say anything. Oh, no. So I'm really sorry. I That's kind of what cheaters I, I say. I want to hurt you. I didn't I, tell you because I didn't want to hurt you. That we want together. I mean, we <laughs> didn't call it. It was something that was very intimate. Something that was very special. So... Yeah, I mean, I accept your apology. Well, he's got a new I'm man, shy, focus on him. I don't want to forget, I gotta get my test. And, um, I thought I'd be fine. I thought, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think that there would be a problem. Right. There wasn't any problem ever before. Right. And it was, it was, yeah. it was kind of crazy. Kind of insane. No, I can imagine. Right. Trying to, uh, I, and I'm sure everyone here, appreciates you being uh, able to share that with us and being vulnerable. It's been 20 years for me. Are they gonna... Um, but touch is a huge topic that for a long time was never, ever um, touched on uh -huh. by the type yeah, of people. Yeah, the times have changed. Exactly. Mm -hmm. To get the Do CBC to you? actually write a parody event for Flush Jack. Yeah, the go-go dancing thing. And I'll be go-go dancing and... I'm sure as you guess, I don't have any fucking dancing experience, and I was wondering if you might be able to help me. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's gonna be rhythm with nation. I had to focus on myself. It's a big city. You can be in another place in New York City and not be around him. Duh. It doesn't feel like that. But then again, the circles are the same, right? how to push Angel's buttons. I see it constantly. It's like a two-street lane going at the same time. Oh, Angel leaving. Oh, oh, him? Joy Mills is coming over to my office today so that we can that talk tall to person. Thank you, thank you. I think I saw him in season number one. Roger, motherfucking Rosa. This bitch popped off in season one. Yeah. I hired him as my assistant. We'll see. Why? Let's see you have a job. Why? Yeah, I'm on the executive track. What the fuck are you talking about? You are an assistant. I... It's still a trap, Max. Patrick Who knows Bobby where Rosa. she ends up? Oh, babe, I didn't even know you could read. No, seriously. I've never seen Patrick read before. Oh, what have you been up to? We did this for two and a half years. Two and a half years. It didn't work. Neither of us have changed. Yeah, well, the one who really needs to change is fucking Boomer. <laughs> Sick of his fucking mouth, dude. You guys literally got into it. Uh, and then yeah. Into it now. We're friends outside of X rated, so he's just always gonna take us up. I don't know. I feel like I need to so say Joey something. Realizes to him, that. But we all know how that. Look, Joey and Boomer are always fighting about something, but this time he does really seem to be very upset. Mm. Leon Dante just made up, right? How'd that go? It did. Uh, go well. Yeah, I'm no, 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 no. Of That's course, Boomer made him take off his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, missing him. Oh, no. Boomer. 
good. <laughs> Get on there and show me what you got. I really need Boomer's help with this one. You know, Dante can't really dance? Knows what to do really? How to help me out, and I, I'm going to eat up a lot of his time. He's never performed at a bar or something? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Ooh. Ooh. Are Dante and Boomer going to be a thing? Is it gonna cause friction? Oh, that's gonna cause friction between Max and Boomer. Um, sit down. But speaking of friends, what do you think about Angel? Everyone knows that Angel's been my friend longer than I've known any of you. And even Max. I honestly feel really bad for Angel just kind of walking into all of this and on top of that having to deal mm -hmm. with the drama that Joey and Tim already previously had. One who had a whole fucking meeting that we weren't going to fight events, keep your fucking mouth shut. And the uh, meeting I'm about cuts. 20 seconds away from yeah. fighting with you, so keep your fucking mouth shut. Joey. Joey's at a 10. Okay. And the meeting consisted okay. of you changing your fucking attitude, and that didn't change, did it? You sat down and wanted to That's fucking start exactly the meeting. That's exactly the conversation we were having. Out, like I just asked you to in the room. Are you really jealous because I'm friends with Angel? You go and you talk shit with him. No, we don't. Really? That's you okay. screwing things into thinking that that's what... Okay. Wow. And Boomer's gonna have to pick between Angel and I. Always gonna be Angel. Yeah, so, so what? You pull it down, you know, we agree with it's you. happening. Sure. It's happening. Is Boomer a big ass bitch in real life, or is it just for the show? Uh... Like, I, 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 you know, we're all, we're all here. I'm like, a kind of a valid question to ask. Like, a, like what's real? What's for the show? Okay, so I'm just here defending you. What do you mean defending me? I mean, he was terrible to you on the first season. Yeah, but that was last year. Things change, you know. So it, there's no reason to be mean to him, you know. I'm just going to have to source myself. <gasps> <clears throat> Hi, Boomer. Nice to meet you. Wow. Are you a big-ass bitch in real life, or was it just for the show? I would have been get out of There's my a face. There's fan that should sit down, honey. You're a big <laughs> Oh, okay. And Donnie went to Boomer's side for some reason. If it's a fan. Oh, Dante and Boomer is happening. It's happening. That was episode 3 of X-Rated NYC season number 2. The episodes are way too short. They are way too short, but hey, uh, this is like what? And only a 6 episode season, so we are, uh, we are done halfway. And there's also a spin-off, X-Rated LA, so I'm looking forward to that as well. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the episode down in the comment section below. Do you think Boomer and Dante should be a thing? I don't know. I think they have worked together before, right? They have worked together before, but they haven't been in a relationship. But yeah. Let me know, and until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.